So it's getting towards the end of the week and that means I'm preparing my sets ready for the weekend. I'm in Rekordbox and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite features, intelligent playlists, and three top tips of how you can use them to organize your collection. So what are intelligent playlists? Well, they're not gonna take over the world, they're not gonna make your coffee for you, but they are gonna help organize your collection so much better and save you a whole heap of time. Basically, an intelligent playlist is a playlist that organizes and sorts itself completely automatically by a given set of rules that you set when you first start it up. So it's really difficult for me to describe on camera exactly what one of those is. So I'm gonna jump straight into my collection and show you exactly how I use intelligent playlists to organize my collection. So we're in my record box collection now and I'm gonna show you how to create an intelligent playlist from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the playlists and I'm gonna select create new intelligent playlist. Now straight away, this looks confusing. This is not like creating a new playlist. Usually you create a playlist, you give it a name and then you start dragging and dropping tracks into it. With this, you don't drag and drop any tracks. It does it all automatically for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name this list. So I'm going to create a playlist that automatically has in every Dirty Secrets track. So I'm going to call this list name Dirty Secrets. Now underneath this we have a whole load of conditions. Now these are rules in which the playlist use to decide whether a track is in that playlist or not in this playlist. So the first rule I'm going to put in, the first condition, is that I want the artist to equal Dirty Secrets. So if I click on OK, this will create this new playlist for me. And as you can see, I've got every track by the artist Dirty Secrets in there. So already this has saved me a whole load of time from going through my collection, finding all the Dirty Secrets tracks, and then dragging and dropping them into a playlist. Now, every time I drag and drop a brand new track into my collection by Dirty Secrets, it will automatically put it in that playlist. So that already saves me a whole load of time, but we can make this better. So I'm gonna go into this playlist again and I'm gonna right click on it and click Edit Intelligent Playlist. Now, this is gonna pick up every track where the artist is Dirty Secrets, but what about if I've got a remix? Now, the remix is gonna feature Dirty Secrets in the title of the track, because it will say Dirty Secrets Remix somewhere within the title. So this won't actually pick it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in another rule within here. So I'm gonna click the plus icon here and I'm gonna choose from this drop down here, I'm gonna choose title, track title. Now, the track title is not gonna equal Dirty Secrets. It's gonna contain Dirty Secrets somewhere within there. So I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna put contains and I'm gonna put Dirty Secrets within here. So now we've got two rules within here. We've got artist equals Dirty Secrets and track title contains Dirty Secrets. Now at the moment, it wants to match both of those conditions. So it needs to find, it wants to find a track where the artist is Dirty Secrets and Dirty Secrets is in the title. Now that's probably not gonna happen. What's gonna, what, what we want to happen is we want it to find out any track that has Dirty Secrets in the artist or in the title. So what we gotta do is we gotta change the way this does it. So at the top here, it says all of the conditions and any of the conditions. So we want it to match any of the conditions. So we want it to be either the artist equals Dirty Secrets or the track title contains Dirty Secrets. So if I click OK on this, it now includes every track in my collection that has Dirty Secrets as the artist or is in the title. So if there's a remix in there or a bootleg or something like that, then it will also show those as well. So that's now gone through my entire collection and found every Dirty Secrets track, every remix, every bootleg, every edit that I've done is automatically in that playlist. So you can see how quick and easy this is. As I say, if I do another edit, if I do a bootleg, if I do a remix, if I do original, whenever I drop it into my collection, that will automatically be put into that playlist, which saves me time. It makes it so easy to kind of do that kind of stuff. Now, if you're a DJ who plays out a lot, maybe you wanna play a certain artist quite a lot, in which case you probably create a playlist like that. You might be a trance DJ and you'd create a Tiesto playlist or something like that. So every Tiesto track would automatically be put into that playlist. That could really help you out. But there's so many different ways that we can use this. Now I've got a few other examples within here. Now, if I go, I've got a DJ Tools acapella one here. If I right click and edit this one, you'll see what we've got within here. So I have chosen tags. So if you're not used tags within 
record box before, I definitely recommend you start using tags. So within this, I've got every track that is tagged with DJ Tool or every track that contains a cappella, then it will automatically put it in this playlist. So again, I've got a playlist of all these tools and all these acapellas that I can just jump into. And again, every time I add another track into my collection and I tag it with DJ tools or with acapella, it will automatically put it into that playlist. One of the most powerful ways I know of using Intelligent Playlists is using the date feature. So I've got a couple of playlists here from the last three months, from the last eight months. So the last three months, for example, if I go and edit this, you'll see that this shows every track that has been released within the last three months and every one that's been added within the last three months. So how amazing is that? Basically, any track that I add to my collection, it will automatically put into that playlist. And when it's three months old, then it automatically takes it out of that playlist. I don't even need to organize it. I know that every time I sync my USB stick, then I go to that last three months and that has the last three months worth of tracks that I've added. Now you could add more filters to this. So you could have the last three months worth of house music. You could have the last three months worth of Dirty Secrets tracks. You can put all these different rules in place to really help you organize your collection better. Now I mentioned that I tag all of my tracks. So if, for example, every track within here, I'm using the tag feature within Recordbox to tag them up with different tags, which makes it really easy for me to look at my collection and filter by tag. But we can also use the Intelligent Playlist to do exactly the same thing. So you can see within here, I have a genres folder. And within here, I have a whole load of Intelligent Playlists. So for example, if I jump into the Deep House Intelligent Playlist and I click Edit on here, you'll see that it includes every track that has is tagged with Deep House. And it's exactly the same for some of these other ones. So Old School, for example, is a tag that I put on any track that has that old school kind of feel. And again, I've just added that tag to every track when I add it to my collection. And then this intelligent playlist automatically makes it into a playlist. So every time I'm on the road, I automatically have these updated playlists that I haven't had to do anything to. Every time I add a track to my collection, I tag it with the relevant tags and the intelligent playlist automatically put it into the playlist that it needs to go into. So it'll probably take you quite a while to go through all of your collection, depending on how many tracks you've got, and then tagging them all. It did take me a while when I first started doing it, just get doing all the back catalog. But now on a weekly basis, when I'm adding 10 or 20 tracks, then I'm just tagging them up and it doesn't take any time at all. Then they automatically put into the intelligent playlist. I don't have to do any organization at all. As soon as I click sync, then I know they're on my USB stick in the right playlist and they're all organized ready for me on the road. I haven't had to drag and drop, do anything else like that. It automatically organizes them for me. So those are intelligent playlists. They're one of my favorite features in Recordbox and one of those things that you set up once and that's it. They just keep on doing their thing. The possibilities are pretty much endless as well. The different rules that you can do, different combinations, it can really save you some time if you set them up right. So I hope that's helped. I hope that's given you some ideas of how you can organize your collection better. Definitely give it a go. I totally recommend it. So if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification icon so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. I've got a whole load more record box stuff, production stuff, all the other stuff on my channel. So don't forget to check that out and I'll see you again in the next video.